Well, first of all, Bishop McKissick, just tell us how you're feeling after the verdict today. I, I tell you, Joy, uh, heartbroken, uh, very sad, very shocked, to be quite honest. Uh, I was in the courtroom uh, for all of the trial, left town this week, so I, I did not hear the closing arguments, but I heard every testimony, evidence, uh, and I'm shocked, very shocked. Well, we all have heard Corrine Brown's attorney say that she still maintains her innocence and she is fighting this all the way. No doubt you'll be sticking by her side. Ab absolutely. I, I have known Congresswoman since I was six years old, believe it or not. Her daughter is one of my longest and oldest friends since first grade. I know her character. I know her integrity. Um, I know her not just as a member, I know her as a person, and I absolutely stand by her side. So you do believe that she is innocent? I do. I, I do. I, you know, I, the woman I know, yes, you know, I, I believe she is. I just, you, you look at all she's done for the community and, and uh, all the work she's done for our nation, uh, and the world, quite candidly. And I, I, I am with her 100%. I believe in her. You mentioned that you know her so well, so intimately. What is she doing right now as she's been allowed to go home and reflect on what just happened? Knowing Corrine Brown like I do, she is at home with people who make her laugh. Um probably trying not to think about this very much, uh, trying to be very upbeat. You know, she's human, so I, 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 I think it has to be on her mind. Um, I've spoken to her, and, you know, she's, she's, listen, she is resilient. She is absolutely resilient. And uh, I think right now she's probably at home with family, uh, with her daughter, and they're trying to enjoy life. Um. You did say that you spoke with her. What did she say after this verdict? I, I didn't really call her, to be honest, for her to say anything. I called her as her pastor to say to her um, that, you know, we still believe in God, that I'm praying for her. I'm out of town, and I told her, hey, if you need me to come home, I'll come home. Of course, she said, no, don't you do that. Um, and I let her know that I'm, I'm her leader. Um, I'm like a son to her, and that I'm praying with her for her. Our church is praying for her. She belongs to us. We are her spiritual family. And I wanted her to know uh, that we still believe all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord, you know, and uh, she appreciated that. As her spiritual leader, how do you help her get through this? I, I think first prayer um, I, I think that becomes the main thing, prayer. Uh, I think also trying to give her words of encouragement because the reality is we have a verdict. Now, we know uh, there's, there's the appellate process and the like, um, but because it's in the hands of the court, um, whom we respect greatly, uh, I, I have to try to give her the balance with the encouragement. Um, I think that's a smart spiritual leader, that we give them encouragement. We don't try to give them false reality. Uh, we try to give them the balance and to let them know that no matter what happens, they are not in this by themselves. Uh, she is not in this by herself. Her daughter is not in this by herself. And that we as her family will not abandon her no matter what is decided and no matter what the final, I heard her lawyer today as I was watching uh, your channel on my iPad, I heard him say very succinctly, this is just the first quarter. And so the game is still yet to be played uh, and that we will be with her no matter what the final score is. And you being into the courtroom during all of the testimony, you heard Ronnie Simmons testify, you heard Carla Wiley testify, and some of the things that they were saying about Corrine Brown your thoughts about that? <laughs> I find it very 
I, I think she was very honest. I will answer that by what she said. And I think she was very candid. And I think she was very correct that she did not pay attention to a lot of things that she should have. I, I thought that was so brave of her to admit that. Um, and I think that is very true. Uh, that she did not pay attention. And as a result, here is where we are now. Uh, it's it's a rough lesson to learn, um, but it's a lesson learned indeed. No doubt there will be a time where she will need to go before the judge for sentencing. Her attorney has said he's going to try to That's delay true. that by filing some motions. But if his motion for a new trial is denied, she'll be going before the judge. <laughs> if you are called to testify on her behalf during sentencing, what will you say? Well, I, I've already told them that I want to be the first one called. Um, I, I will talk of how I know her for all of my life. I'm 51. I've known her since I was 40, since I was five, 40, almost 45, 46 years. I, I will speak to what I believe in spite of what a jury has said. What I believe is her character. What I believe is her integrity. And I just don't believe you can leave out all that she has done for our country. I mean, the very place they convicted her is the very place she built, quite frankly. Um, and I will speak to all of those things uh, as I try to pull on the heartstrings of the judge, who, who is a judge I, I have great respect for, know him, have great respect for him. Uh, but... I, that's what I will appeal to, her character, her, her integrity, uh, all the great work that she has done. And I think that has to be brought into play if we get to that point. I would encourage and ask the judge to please consider all of that. All right, Bishop McKissick, thank you so much. Is there anything else that thank you, you Joy. to add? You know, I, I, I just... My, my son went on the China trip that was, uh, for whatever, one of the, uh, the, the points that was made, and it was an incredible trip. You know, his name was brought up in court, uh, and he didn't get it because I'm her pastor. He earned it. He worked for her for a summer, uh, and he was a scholar in his school. He was so heartbroken when I told him today because he grew to love Congresswoman as he worked for her. She introduced him to the ambassador of China. How many children get that kind of opportunity? Uh, he sat in a room with the ambassador for China and uh, he, he was just blown away studying on the university campus in China, walking the walls of China. Uh, I, I think that speaks to the kind of person she is. And you bringing this up, some people might say because you are her pastor, that's why your son went on this trip. But you say that that's not the case. That's not the case at all. My son worked an entire summer in her office, worked nine to five. And he is a scholar. He has a 4.0 at Hampton University. Uh, and it was well earned, not something that was given to him.